I often get asked, how can I put a harness on and be comfortable? It always amazes me that I'll meet guys out in the field that have been wearing a harness longer than I've been, been selling them. One of the first things that I notice is that uh, they're what I refer to as the pivot point, uh, where, where your harness comes together, goes around your legs and comes up over your shoulders, is somewhere up around your ribcage. Um, it's just the way that they're finished at the facility. I'm a couple inches taller than Mike, so it may, it may work on him, but not work on me straight out of the bag. But, but that's probably not going to be the case. So the first thing that I do is, is I, I'll ask an individual, how do you adjust your harness? And nine times out of ten, the first thing and only thing they do is, is show me the leg strap adjustment. Well, this is also an adjustment. and It may be hard to see on this, on this black harness, but I can show it to you here. On a, on a conventional harness, we have an adjustment here, which is what we refer to as the torso adjustment, and then we have our leg straps that are adjustable. If you can think about the harness and, and, and the human body as far as where it pivots and where it moves, you pivot at your hip, okay? So if, if the pivot point of this harness was up here on your side, and you're pivoting, every time you bend over, you're, you're taking your leg straps, at least from the back, and you're pulling them up. So if, if I take that extra time and, and bring the torso adjustment down to where the harness itself is pivoting where my body does, what it does for me is a couple of things. It starts to eliminate a lot of the restriction that's caused you know, with, with a harness. It also uh, takes my leg straps um, and instead of having my pivoting points high on my sides and my leg straps having to go to them, it brings them down. Okay, so now my leg straps are more uh, on an outward bound basis. And as a guy, um, uh, you can attest to the fact that it's a little bit more comfortable. I don't have to say that. So again, getting those leg straps as tight as possible uh, is, is imperative. If they're, if they're too tight, you can always loosen them up a little bit. Harnesses are, are, are normally sized uh, uh, from small to large, and you'd be amazed at how many, how, what range of, of sizes of, of body a small through large will fit, um, because there's there's a lot of there's a lot of extra material you know within this, so I can I can fit you know a wide variety of guys. But if you if you're bigger than that or smaller than that, um, one of the nice things about UltraSafe is we manufacture our harnesses in Phoenix, Arizona. If someone needs an extra small or 5XL, uh, we have the ability to do that and do it fast. So I've got this harness kind of adjusted properly on one side and, and improperly on the other. And what, we're, what we've got on this side is I've got my, my, my pivot point where my torso portion of the harness and my leg portions come together down on his hip. On this side, out of the out of the package or out of the box from the factory, they're going to come adjusted like this, and you'll see that this our pivot point would be too high on him. So I need to bring that down. So how do I do that? I take the material, I bring it through the buckle, bring it down so that I can get my pivot point down. All right. As soon as I get that down, and you wiggle around in that harness a little bit, it kind of self adjusts. <laughs> now I've got to take my leg strap around and attach it. And again, we're going back and we're having too much slack here, okay? I just have too much, too much room. So I wanna take this. Get that tight or right. So where I can, here's my two fingers. If I start to get three fingers in there, I, I, I may want to tighten it up a little bit more, but I've gotten it a lot tighter than it was originally, and he's still able to, to move around. You can bend around. You can see that that harness doesn't hang on you, doesn't restrict you. If you had to pick a penny up off the ground, you could do it. 
if you could before. So again, it's just something that's not restraining. And that's one of the nice things about a pillow flex harness is it really becomes more like a piece of clothing than a, than, than a conventional harness. This was out of the box. So I want to bring this down a little bit. I want that chest closure to be right around chest level. What, what, what your chest closure is doing is if I don't have this on, or if this wasn't part of a harness, and he were to fall head first, he's gonna come out, okay? So although it may not be what we refer to as a load-bearing uh, part of a harness, is it's very important. So I wanna make sure that the gap between here and here is as closed as possible. What I don't want is this to be too high, because if, it's, if, if we were to have this chest closure back up here where it was out of the box and he were to fall, this is gonna come up, okay? It's just, it's just the nature of the beast with a harness. You are gonna move around in that thing, and you don't want this chest closure coming up to the point where it's gonna hit him in the chin.